What if the ultimate machine-human interface, born from the chaos of battle, became our everyday reality, not for war, but for work? Imagine a world where the precision of your thoughts, not clunky controls, moved mountains. Picture a non-invasive version of the Lay of Inanna system, stripped of its combat enhancements, now powering our most demanding industries. Deep-sea explorers could pilot submersibles, feeling the geological resistance through their very thoughts, not just haptic feedback, achieving an uncanny, almost organic connection to their environment. Construction cranes on skyscraper sites would move with an elegance impossible with traditional levers, their massive arms responding to the pilot's subconscious intent. The efficiency would be undeniable, a leap in productivity and safety for high-risk jobs. But here's the razor-thin line. Would we accept a society where the most critical tasks demand this level of human-machine integration? What are the unseen psychological tolls of such constant, intimate connection to a machine, even without the trauma of battle? What happens to our autonomy, our very definition of self, when the line between human and machine blurs this profoundly, all for efficiency? Would you plug in for a more efficient future? Share your thoughts on this mind-bending possibility in the comments below.